Welcome to Sunny Stamping Studio and today I'm going to share with you the card that I made with my Stampers Club this past Saturday. Now the card is um, again an easel card and it's very fast and easy to make but what's really fun about it is the butterfly that it has a little bit of added dimension which allows it to have more lift and um, just a little more animation than if it was glued down flat like this. Okay so I really do like that kind of uh, little uh, technique for adding more lift to your um, pieces. So we're just going to be showing you how to make the butterfly today and the rest of the card is very straightforward and easy to do. So I have my butterfly pieces already um, die cut out and I'm going to sponge the edges with a little bit of Tempting Turquoise. So I'm just going to keep it to the edge First one. Okay, the first one's just slightly done, and then I'm going to do the second one. And uh, you don't really need to go in, it's kind of nice to have the contrast of the lighter and um, the darker color. So I'm just going to keep it to the edges of his wing. Okay, so I have my butterfly bodies lightly sponged. And then next I'm just going to cut out his body and have it ready to go. Now what I did was I cut out with my punch this shape over here. And of course, because I'm doing the video right now, I cannot remember the name of the punch. But it will be in the PDF because I will look it up before I write it. Okay, so I'm kind of creating a little head there. I'm going to go on this side now and do the same thing. And then I just kind of bring it down to a point. Okay, so just a basic body shape and I'll just bring that in closer so you can see what the shape is like. Okay, so it kind of has a little definition of a head and the body like that. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside and we're going to work next on our butterflies. Okay, a little closer. I'm going to now fold them in half and I'm going to really sharpen that crease with my bone folder. Now I'm not using the cardstock vellum, I'm using the paper vellum, the much softer vellum. The cardstock vellum is quite um, thick and heavy and I don't want that for this butterfly. I want it to be just a little daintier, have a little lighter weight to it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up, make sure that I can move it nicely. And I'm going to glue them together with glue dots, but I'm going to do them opposite. So one set of wings is going to go down, one set of wings is going to go up. Okay, so just grab your glue dots and apply. That was a poor job applying there, but I can adjust there. Okay, so I have my wings done over there. So now my butterfly is already getting a little bit of uh, added dimension. Okay. So now I'm going to go and do the body. And for the body, I'm just going to first start by putting some Stampin' Dimensionals. Like so. And I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to hold it by the Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to apply some two-way glue. I'm going to put it over the whole surface. Okay. And then I'm going to dip it right into my glitter. And I used one of the green glitters that we have. Okay. 
So now it's all nice and beautifully shimmery. And then I'm just going to apply it to my butterfly. I'll do it without the tweezers. Okay. And then just to add that lift to my butterflies when he's on the paper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a punched circle of vellum, which, oh, it's attached to my sweater. There we go. I'm going to take this little um, one and a quarter inch circle that I punched out of vellum, and I'm going to cut a spiral out of it. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue dots and I'm going to put a glue dot on the top center of the spiral right there. And I'm going to attach that to my butterfly. And then to apply it to the paper I'm going to put a second glue dot on the bottom of the end of the spiral and I will attach that to my card and then I'll kind of fluff up his wings and form them a little bit and he'll be ready to go on the card. And that, after you have the butterfly done like that, it's very simple to put the rest of the card together. Um, you just add a little bit of dots of um, crystal effects to the edges of the wings and uh, you add a little dazzling diamond glitter, so a little dot pattern going on. You just sponge your oval, sponge your edges, um, stamp, cut your flowers, and of course dot with glitter and add one more simple little butterfly. He's just glued down with the pop-up dot. He is not, um, I did not use the spiral um, on him to give him the extra lift because I wanted him further back. And then the little antennas are just hand drawn in. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial for the butterfly and I look forward to seeing you again.